Hey everybody, so I'm back again today with yet another density demo to show you that I like to do with my students. It's more observation based than anything. So first off, I just have a container of fresh water just from the tap and I also have a series of these cubes. These cubes were purchased by my department. They are just a variety of metals, woods, plastics, acrylic, nylon, very, very easy to purchase through your department. What I like to have the kids physically do is come up and take some of these objects, describe to their classmates what they feel like, what is their heft, what they think is gonna happen when they place them into the water. So for instance, a piece of aluminum, students would say it's a little bit heavy to the touch. You can come over here, place it into the water, and clearly it's gonna sink. Now what the kids can do, knowing now that it's greater than one, they can take that cube out, they can physically do length times width times height to get the volume, they can place that onto a balance and get the mass, and then they can physically calculate what the density is gonna be. So a lot of these substances are incredibly heavy. So they're gonna sink very, very quickly. Some of these, what I like, I like when students come over to say like a piece of PVC or acrylic or nylon, they'll tell their classmates that it's relatively light. So they think that some of these will actually float, but in reality, when they place them in, they end up sinking. So even though something might be a little bit light to the touch, based on the density of water, it's gonna be a little bit more dense, it's gonna sink. Some of the woods are neat because they're relatively light and they will physically float. So students can actually see what's a floating object with a density less than one is going to look like. I then like to go back and determine what the density is of each of these cubes, and then this way they can actually see the numerical value compared to the density of water. So I hope this helps out. Again, just trying to give you some other ideas to do with your students in terms of density demos. We'll talk to everyone soon.